Good morning, super cool party people. I slept in, which was fantastic, and since I've been in my bed for like an hour and a bit, just chilling. It's like 10.30 now though, so I should probably get up and eat something because food is a good thing. And um, yeah, it's Thursday. My grandparents left this morning. I definitely woke up when they were leaving because they're in the room right above me. And boom, boom, boom. Um, but so they're hopefully where they were going to, they're gonna be gone for a couple days and they're coming back on Sunday. So yes, a little bit of a reprieve, but we definitely have to do some stuff like shopping and cleaning and tidying and all that jazz. But right now it is food time. So I'll check with you later. And also I have a huge list of things that I wanna do today. So I just spent like an hour on the phone with Expedia changing a flight for Pam's wedding because it, if you remember like back in June I booked my flights and I had to make changes because Pam wants me to fly back with her kids so I cancelled one flight uh, fortunately I was able to do that pretty easily and online this one I had to change it and it's yeah it was it was a bit of a long process but it is done now so that is super exciting and I'm good to go and I booked my hotel and oh now I am poor AF I am so poor and then Christmas and <sighs> I need to get like see here's the thing if I got like a legit job where I worked full time I'd be fine my rent is low enough that I would be totally fine, wouldn't have to worry about anything. The problem is writing. <laughs> it's really hard to write if you work full time. I know I can. I mean, if I think if I had a job that was like a nine to five kind of deal or like very set, it'd be a lot easier. But because my previous full time job that I had was like work whenever, 10 hour shifts, plus like an hour commute to get there and an hour commute to get home. So 12 hours of your day is taken up just by work or work related things. You should sleep for about eight so you have four hours to feed yourself and do anything creative. Didn't sleep a lot to be honest, but I feel like if I got a normal full-time job, it'd be okay, but I really like working at the theater. I like the people there, so I don't know. I'm very conflicted about things and as a result stressed all the time but that's fine uh today i it's just like puttering stuff so i've done that that's my big housekeeping thing of the day and then i have to do laundry which i have one load in right now i have another one also when we moved here we got new dishes um we replaced all our old dishes with new dishes that we got at costco they're like a pack of 24 so it's six settings with four pieces each so a big plate a little plate a giant bowl and a smaller bowl no mugs which is great so we got three of those sets which gives us 16 place settings which is for when we have people over and we have dinners and stuff so we had opened the first two because we needed those because D&D sometimes we have seven people so it's nice to have like 12 dishes but we haven't touched the other one because we haven't needed it until this Christmas that is coming up very shortly here so I'm running the first set of those through the dishwasher and then I'll just have to do another one later so we're making progress um, I think now I'm washing the duvet cover for this just in case anybody needs it for sleep purposes during this Christmas because we got we got family coming um, but yeah so I think I'm gonna tidy my room I have some Christmas presents to wrap my grandma like threw something at me last night they've gone now like i said but she was like can you wrap this so she threw it at me so i have that two other gifts so three gifts and then some stuff that won't fit in stockings although personally i kind of just want to wrap everything that's going in the stockings to be really mean but we'll see <laughs> what i feel like when i actually get to it that'd probably take way too long but i'm gonna shut up now probably put on a movie or survivor or something and get to wrapping Okay, so I wrapped the stuff that has to go in stocking that doesn't quite fit. I have one more present hidden back there, the one that my grandma like hucked at me. And then I have two right there. But I don't know if those people watch my vlog, so we're not going to show them. Just like the uh, stocking stuffer stuff. Can't do that. Um, I decided though that it's time to clean my room and tidy up and just like spend this day 
decluttering my room, the bathroom, because there's going to be people that are sharing the bathroom with me and all that kind of stuff to make the transition from like three of us in the house to nine of us in the house for like three days, like staying here a little bit easier. Um, like I said, I'm doing laundry, including my duvet cover. And now I'm just kind of dealing with this. Um, yeah, so it's been pretty productive. I'm just watching, catching up on YouTube videos because when my family, when my grandparents were here, I didn't really have much alone time, as I mentioned yesterday, to do stuff like that. Um, but that's totally fine. I also got a card, a Christmas card from Jessica in the mail today. Apparently her um, son, who's like, how old is he, like maybe three? I really don't know. I'm a terrible friend. Calls Santa a Santa ho, because he goes ho ho ho. And she's like, I hope he always refers to Santa as such. Oh, she's those poor children. <laughs> but yeah, it's just gonna be a day of puttering, I think. Ah, trying to get stuff done, maybe I'll do some junking out. I just, I, I've been spending, even before my grandparents came, I was just spending so much time working on my book and my query, and I'm still on that and need to do that, but like my room just kind of, I just throw stuff places and, it's like there's just two pairs of socks right here. They don't have friends. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. You know what I should be doing though? I have a TV right here. It's right there. Instead of watching on my little screen there, I could definitely be using this. Okay, maybe we'll do that, but I'll finish watching this video first to make my bed and see how we go from there. The struggle is real. Okay, so. I'm inside my duvet cover right now. If you remember, I got a new duvet and duvet cover like in November because I was bored when I was in Blind Channel and so I was ordering a ton of things online. And um, I think when I first got it, I put it in the wrong way because it's a king size. So I think it's like 90 by 120. So today I decided to fix it, but because I was just like, oh, I'll just twist it easily. This, it's not. Normally I'm good at this. Not so much right now. Alrighty, we are getting there. I actually, I took out all my blankets from this thing here. So now this is all my workout shirts that I never use. <laughs> this is all my workout pants that I only ever wear the sweats. <laughs> but it's something that I wanted to do for a while, so that's good. Also, in the bathroom, I made space like I said I would, so... This is all cleared off for a guest toiletry bags and stuff. And this is also cleared off and I just moved my like face care thing over here for now. I really love that caddy. I got it at Walmart and I love it. So making progress. I'm also on load number two of laundry. So that's good. I will fold that tonight. Get that all put away. And um, upstairs, I don't know if the dishwasher is still going or not because there are a few other things that I can put in once I empty it, but I don't know if I'm feeling like I'm doing it. It's four o'clock. I feel like I've been pretty productive today, all things considered. Yeah, it's still going. It looks like there's only like four. That's math. I can't count. Only six more bowls that need to go in there. So that is good. Ooh, turn that light off. Save some energy. Um, when my sister-in-law gets off work today, I think we're gonna go do some errands, run around. We need to get a bigger sheet for doo -doo -doo, the couch bed in here. There are so many different colors and tones of lights in this house, it's crazy. So we folded this down the other day and a queen size sheet doesn't quite fit. So I think we're gonna pick up a king size and then that'll be good because then we'll have it. My aunt said she could bring one over, um, but we'll need it anyway. So yeah, I think that is the plan. Oh, this is also a good plan. I really, you know what? I need to stop writing so much. If I didn't write so much, I would have time to like chill on the couch in here and watch, watch myself play video games. Mm, so. This feels nice though. I do love this this couch, this chaise particularly. But yeah, so been a pretty busy day, but it's been nice because it's just been like busy alone. I think I need to bake later. I told my grandma I'd make scones before she gets back on the 23rd. So I either need to bake today or like tomorrow afternoon because the cleaning lady is coming tomorrow. So yeah, maybe I'll take a quick pause and like 
some makeup or something. I'm so broken out. And um, before we go downtown, maybe put on like some real clothes because I am legit just wearing sweats. This is my life. I don't think I have real clothes, to be honest. I think they're in the wash. <sighs> okay, I'll check in with you later, I guess. are good to go now well there's makeup on my face I don't know if we're good to go but I look more alive I got I think I got a decent amount of sleep last night did I, I did I check my my sleep this morning I don't know but I definitely got to sleep in and that was fantastic I was awake okay I got I got seven hours of sleep because I was up till three in the morning because it, I'm the worst but that's fine anyway I'm gonna I don't know what I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cross some things off my list here. It was one thing, it wasn't at all exciting, but I still feel like I've done a lot today, even though I haven't completed a lot of tasks. But I should try to maybe close pants. I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like I said, I'm feeling a bit better. Oh, I know, I will bring some of those blankets up and put them in the place where blankets go. The linen closet. Shh, I don't, I'm stupid, okay? <laughs> so I have a box that I keep my foreign currency in because I usually end up with a little bit after trips. And so I was like, oh, I'm going to the States soon, so do I have any US currency? So I have 20 Thai baht. I've never been to Thailand. I just, I when I was working my last job, I helped a guy with a delivery and it fell out of his pocket. I was like, oh, you're... Uh, money fell out. He's like, here, you can have this, because I think it's like a couple cents Canadian. I have 430 Mexican pesos from Jessica's wedding, and Jessica got married in, wait, I got a card over here. 2012, I think. I don't think it says on the card. Why? <laughs> 20, 20 euros, this makes sense. I was in Europe, like, within the last year. And US, $1. <laughs> Not very helpful. So I guess I'll have to get some US money at some point here in the next month. Whew, I am flying out in less than a month. Ah, that's fine. Also, I'm like, hey mom, <laughs> will you drive me to the airport at four, four or five thirty in the morning? And the airport's in the city next, next to ours. Thanks mom, I love you. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, so anyways, gonna have to get some US dineros dollars <laughs> at some point. That was, but yeah, no, it's kind of neat. I wanna go back to Europe. I should go back to Mexico, because this is like 508, but it's, it's not that much. But I do like, I have like $60 in foreign currency here that could be in Canadian, but whatever. All right, I put on my Stitch Christmas sweater. I got my, Santa hat on and I changed into my sweet velvet sweatpants that I got from the thrift store the other day so I'm ready to go out whenever we choose to head out. I think it's pouring down rain outside again because that's what it does in winter in BC. It just rains, it barely snows, at least more southernly, but what can you do? All right, so we just got home from going out. I was going to I brought my GoPro, but then I just, I didn't. I'm the worst most of the time, but home oh now. I think I'm gonna go make those scones because if I don't make them today, I have to make them tomorrow, but I gotta be at the house tomorrow because of cleaning purposes. It's nice though, because it'll give me a really good excuse to work on my query letter. I can just leave the house and go to a coffee shop for a couple hours. So at least there's that. But I think I just restarted my laundry because it wasn't quite dry, so we go upstairs and bake, I suppose. Let's go. I haven't baked this recipe in like 10 years. I, I think that's what it's supposed to look like at this point. I don't know, I gotta roll it out now and I, have a hate-hate relationship with anything I need to roll out, but here we go. I'm gonna roll it out, 
cut it up. Oven is preheating because I'm an idiot and I should have done that before I started mixing it, but that's fine. And um, we'll, we'll see how this goes, I guess. Still just living my best life in this Christmas hat right now. Um, while I was baking the scones, actually like while they were in the oven, I guess, um, my friend Abby called and we haven't chatted for a while. We like have one of those friendships where we don't like talk for like four months and then we just talk for hours. So that was nice. She told me that she like, she's a nurse and so she was going to a night shift. And so she's telling me about how she spent her day and then she had a nap and then she gets to work and she wasn't scheduled to work and she's like, ah. So that was funny and we talked about her upcoming wedding and all that fun stuff. It was just nice to catch up. So that was good. Talked about plans for a meeting eventually. We've been friends for like eight and a half years and we haven't met in person yet. <laughs> yeah, so that was nice. The scones turned out really well. Um, which is great because like I said, I haven't made them for 10 years and I was like, is this what they're supposed to look like? But no, it was a positive, so that is awesome. And now, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Nothing, probably. I feel like my battery just like aggressively died. Um, so yeah, I did fold my clothes, but I never put them away, so... I don't know, I should probably do that, but we shall see. I still have a few things on my list that I want to do. I can do them, I can do some of them tonight. Others will be for another day, but that's fine. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna go putter, I think, and eat some chips. Not because I'm hungry, but because I want them. <laughs> this is, this is my problem. Anyways, I will check in with you in a bit once I figure out what the heck I'm doing. Well, I'm the worst, and it turns out I've done nothing. I know, I was supposed to work on my query letter, but I didn't. I've just been sitting here and just screwing around on the internet. I mean, doing some research stuff, but nothing like pressing that. Anyways, anyways. Yeah, I think it's it's almost one o'clock. Apparently I was waiting until it got this late to edit a vlog. So with that, I'm going to say thank you for coming along on today's adventure. And I will see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night.